Hello, everybody. It's time, it's time, it's time to update the Kraken binder. The first video on this was just introducing the binder's existence. And this is the first time we're actually adding cards to the binder. I thought this would be a great thing to put in the front. This was a Christmas card from Paul Buxton, who got to be in the expansion draft show and introduced the GM to make one of the picks, which was really cool. So I got a stack of cards here from ComC. I got, I actually have some other hockey cards that are just going to be kind of a rummage after I update the binder here. And let's do it. So I forgot I put this, this is actually in the wrong spot. I was testing my setup to see if I would even be able to do this. And I'm not totally convinced yet that I'm going to be able to, but we shall see. What I did for this was I watched the expansion draft. I monitored free agent signings, trades, who they released. And at one point I thought I had every name in here just perfect. Then I went over the all-time roster and discovered some stuff I missed. So, did I say all-time roster? Current roster, which is also the all-time roster. Um, <laughs> it's a little weird to be um, rooting for a team that's never taken the ice. But I have wanted hockey in this area for a long time. Because when I can develop a rooting interest in a sport, I really love following that thing. Um... Example would be uh, NBA. I cannot bring myself to watch the NBA. I cannot make myself care about Phoenix and Milwaukee in the finals. I have no rooting interest. The only NBA I have watched in the last 14 years is a couple minutes just to make sure that, that Oklahoma City didn't win the title. And I am not joking. I've watched... Maybe a total of an hour of NBA in, like I said, 13 years since the team left. Anyway, that's tangent. That's over. Stepping off the soapbox. The point is, I'm so excited about hockey coming to Seattle because I know I like hockey because at one point I sort of, in the early 90s, followed the Canucks a little bit because of a friend of mine did. And even just that, I really enjoyed. So this is going to be amplified, magnified intensified, whatever fight you can imagine. Enough blathering on. Let's add some cards. So these mostly came from ComC. Uh, I did find a couple others at LCS the other day. Uh, apologize to Flying Dutchman cards. I know I told you I was going to tell you next time I went to Bellingham, and it was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. So we will eventually meet up, Andy, I, I promise. First, uh, right out of the gate, it's just alphabetical. My last name, that's all I can do for now. Um, I don't have a Mason Appleton, so fail immediately. Nathan Bastain, have a couple cards here. Oh, it looks like I have a duplicate already. I didn't even realize that. I got four cards. So this is Allure. Those are rookie a rookie card, or at least it's designated a rookie card. I don't know how hockey does it versus baseball. And, of course, we're dealing with upper deck here, so the rules might be different. But um, it says rookie card. There is another upper deck trilogy. Now, those are really expensive packs. I've watched some pack breaks from some of those. And really nice cards, especially like the autos and stuff. And this one's really cool. I actually got some stuff from this set that are non-cracking, but this is Synergy, and this part here and this part here are recessed, so there's like a ridge here, and this is sort of like a, a plastic or semi-transparent material. I'm sure you can see my finger behind there, 
And those are really cool. I got a couple of those just because I could. So like I said before, I'm not really sure how my setup's going to work here. It's so hard to do binder videos. Somebody can make like a like a rig or something. I think what I'll do, let's keep going here. Colin Blackwell, I don't have any for him. Will Borgen. I think I'm going to show you the cards and then do an edit to have them to them in the binder. Because uh, this, this could really drag out with me fumbling with the binder. But I do have one Will Borgen. That's a Parkhurst. Next, Connor Carrick. He's a free agent. Uh, or just signed, rather. And I don't... Um, have any cards of him because I did my uh, search before he signed. Dennis Chalowski. I have one card for him. Joey Decord. I don't have him. Jonas Donskoy. I don't have him. Chris Drieger. Now, this is one that I actually already had. Um, somehow, I pulled it from a pack. So, there's a few of those in here. Not very many. Vince Dunn from this most recent Upper Deck release. Holy smokes. I didn't notice this till just now. This is like missing... <laughs> the top left corner. All together. Did I get that from the shop or? Wow. Okay. Mm. Well, anyway, it's going in here for now. So prior to um, really the season starting, I want at least two cards of each player because I am in a TTM. Everybody on the team, literally, every single player is getting mail from me. But meanwhile, I'd still like to have cards in here. So, I don't want one Vince Dunn, mail it out, and then not have a Vince done. So, I will be adding, you know, over the next two months, really, before the season gets going. So, there's that. Jordan Eberly. If it's just one card, I, I probably won't need to do edits. I'll go a little faster here. Kale Fleury. He's got a brother. Plays hockey, too. Hayden Fleury. I hope they didn't do that just to be cute. I'm sure they didn't. Morgan Geeky. And this was the most expensive card that I got off of the Sport Lots lot. It's a die cut. It cost me $250. I have no idea if I overpaid, but it's just what was kind of available. And I thought it'd be neat to have something kind of nicer. And then I got a couple others for Geeky. Here we go. Here's a trilogy. Hope that's focusing. And then upper deck portraits. And yep. Mark Giordano, Gio, Giordano. And I have a few cards of him. Speculation is that he'll be the captain just because he's got so much experience. And I believe he might have been the captain with Calgary. Oh, yeah, there it is on his chest. There's the big C. Okay. Um, I thought I had a Yanni Gord. I don't see it here. I might have to backtrack if that's the, the case. Philip Grubauer, he was one of their big free agents. He's going to be the main uh, goalie Colorado card there this is uh that's a really neat card upper deck from 1819 I really like that one that might be a good TTM material or well, this one's got lots of white space there's Opichi and this is one that I found in the box at the LCS this is one of my favorites 
It's OPG Platinum. And I don't know if it's a pink parallel or if they're all like this, but that's just a really neat card. Not quite a refractor, but the background here has like a metallic. And I'm just noticing how dirty my thumbnail is. Pretty cool, huh? That's my tribute to Pepino Man, by the way. I pulled a couple weeds this morning before I fired up the camera. Luke Hinneman, uh, he's the guy they signed out of Canada, young young player. Um, just didn't pick anything up for him. He's uh, probably going to start in the developmental league. Kelly Yarnick. Yarn, yarn Crook. Yarn Crook. And this is the only, this is Opeachy from a couple years ago. Uh, looks like 1920, probably. I don't have any others like that, I don't think. Uh, Marcus Johansson, uh, again, just signed, so I didn't even know about know about that until yesterday. Um, Adam Larson, I do have a uh, Parkhurst here. Adam Larson. <laughs> Jeremy Lausanne. Kale Lind. Jared McCann, that's when I'd pulled pulled a Jared McCann. I was unbelievably excited when I was watching the expansion draft and I had my stack of maybe a hundred uh, upper decks from this year there next to me. And I found three or four. I thought that was really good. Uh, Jamie Olasek. Opichi. And, yeah, one of him. Uh, Jaden Schwartz, I took his little nameplate off because I had a card for him. Oh, I have one other for him. Two others for him. This one's really cool, and I found there's a lot of cool photos in this set. I don't know if it's an insert set or a standalone set, but I sort of, with the exception of the border, it looks like they're trying to do sort of like a stadium club thing with the alternative angles and just um, gimmicky photo type things. But uh, this is a cool upper deck portfolio from a couple years ago, and he's given a fist bump there to some kind of mascot. Louie. Is he Louie Bluey? Is that my guess? I don't even know. Look at me, not knowing stuff. Here we go. Oh, and one more. This was um, Upper Deck World of Sports, some kind of insert or parallel, Team Canada, Jaden Schwartz. So I got three Jaden Schwartzes. That portfolio card's definitely going out for, for an autograph, I'll tell you that. Okay. No Carson Soucy. Um, Braden Tanoff. Oh, it looks like I got a duplicate. There we go. So I had one in hand and picked up another one. Good TTM material. There's another Parkhurst. Alexander True played with uh, Seattle in the uh, Northwest League, whatever it's called, the, the league around here. Don't I sound like a genius? So he's kind of a fan favorite. They just extended him. Do not have a card of him. Or Carson Twarzynski. Um, oh, wait, you know what? I got my stuff out of, out of order. I do have some Alexander Trues. Here we go. There's Upper Deck Portrait. Okay, and this one I found at the LCS. Super Stage. Isn't that right for an autograph? Right below that shark logo. Double shout out to Seattle Sharks fan, formerly Seattle Sharks fan, who gave me my my card, Mr. Paul Buxton. And then I got another one of these Synergy cards with the cool sort of semi-3 see-through thing there. That's looking good. Okay, now I do have a Carson... 
Torinsky. I'll look back at this and laugh my butt off how bad I'm saying these names. Alex Winneberg. A couple of those. Okay. And I see one extra card here. Either this guy got traded back or I just wasn't being careful. I ended up with an extra card. I'm not even going to show it. I'll embarrass myself. Okay, so that's it for the binder update. For those of you that are still with us, let's do this. So I got some more guys I got to get, which we will do. And like I said, I do have a couple other cool cards here, I thought. Synergy, these Upper Deck Synergy cards, I love these. Um, man, it makes me wish that Upper Deck had a baseball, li baseball license. But here's um, Sam Steele. I just picked this up because it was cool. Half uh, acetate and half cardstock, or whatever you would call regular card. And I just like that it's sort of got like a ridge here. Don't know anything about Sam Steele, but it's a cool card. Here's a guy I remember from when I was originally sort of a hockey fan, like I said, early 90s. And everybody looks good on the gold label card. Jeremy Roenick. Look at that gold label. Not even a refractor, but look at that. Just looks gorgeous. And I saw a couple of these, but I didn't want to get carried away on cost. But Synergy FX, and the color on this is numbered to 349, Connor Ingram. And look at that pink. Some of these cards almost look like they could be refractors, but not quite. Don't know anything about Connor Ingram, but this is just a great looking card. I got two of these all the way from 2001. Again, these are kind of big names. That's why I grabbed them. But I think these are base cards. 2001 Revolution Hockey. Clearly Pacific brand. Dominic Hasek. And the great Patrick Rua. And even back here where they have this slash, there's like Prism. Let's see if we can get it. Really cool. I am definitely going to look for more of these because they're cheap and they're, they would look great in a binder. Enough of those. Some die cut here. Die cut action. One of the goats. This is from O2 Atomic. Again, I have no idea what this is. Feels almost like a plastic card, but a very cool Brett Hull. Don't see die cuts like that very often with that much intricacy for a buck. I'm like, hey, I'm adding that to my collection. Speaking of the goats, cheap Gretzky, why not? 50 cents, add it to my little Hall of Fame section in my binder. One more gold label, same year as the Ronick. Martin Broder. That one might go out TTM, because he TTMs. I'm still deciding. I would probably need to really treat this thing up. Uh, let's see. Another goat. Get the goats when you can for 50 cents. Attractive card. Here we go. Eric Lindros. Don't have any cards of him. And... I thought this guy was a Kraken for some reason, and I don't, I don't know. No, this was the one that I had, yeah, never mind. We're going to forget that. Okay. It's just a common whatever, just a guy. Okay, that's it for today. First Kraken binder update, and now I got to go and find who I don't have any cards of, like Appleton, and get like at least one, and then for my guys that I have one of, I need more than one. So when I start TTMing, I don't end up with the naked spots. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this setup worked. I hope it made sense. It was a giant pain in the rear, but we survived. Until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.